KTLA 11 News I team follows the money in the heated debate over what to do to fix the problem in Baltimore's most challenged communities. That story comes as the mayor introduced today the head of a new campaign to funnel more resources resources into jobs and opportunities for young people. I team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live in the newsroom with that story. Jane. Donna, this is the debate that rose to the top after the unrest of two weeks ago. But if you go back through city budgets, which we did, you find the very areas now in such demand have gotten the short end of the stick in the city's funding priorities. The basketball court at North Cary and Baker is a popular place in the Penn North community of West Baltimore. It's also one of the few places that gives young people here something to do. This court is cool sometimes, but like on the hot days, we need to go inside and like the YMCA, you need a membership to go there. DeAndre Garris is 17 years old. His friend Trey Turner is 18. We asked them, what is their community missing? Just like more places for us to like have fun at, like things just to do. Like people just go on the court, in the court pack, you don't, got, you don't have nothing else to do. So you know everybody, they go down the harbor, start, start everything. It's stuff to do for little kids, not for LEs. Like other communities in the city, this one's seen resources for young people shrink. Rec centers have closed. Schools, community activists say, do little to fill the gap. In most schools today, there are no bands, there are no choirs, there are no student governments, because I've been moving around quite a bit. There are no assemblies, there are no newspapers. So what are the children really actively engaged? According to the city's budgets and accounting for inflation, the city is spending 21% less for recreation and parks this year, 2015, than what it spent in 1998. Its spending on the city school system is 10% less than it was in 98, despite pleas by city leaders for the state to pay more. Today, as the mayor today announced PR executive Michael Cryer as the head of her One Baltimore effort to get more resources into communities, she acknowledged the historic underfunding of resources for youth, but pledged new support now. One of the things I can say that um, we talk about constantly is how we can put more resources into the classroom, how we can how we can adjust our spending to have a bigger impact on our young people, both in school and out of school. The young men in Penn North would love to see results. All the moving and everything out Towson or Randall Mills, we don't have nothing around here. The mayor says she does have a plan to build new rec centers. One opened last year in the southwest part of the city. Michael Cryer, the man picked to head the One Baltimore effort, he was the architect of then Mayor Martin O'Malley's Believe campaign. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.